This video is made possible by videohive.net. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this video, let's learn how to create a very cool and interesting looking logo animation inside of After Effects using Trapcode Particular. Now a quick disclaimer that Trapcode Particular is a third party plugin that you will need to create this awesome logo animation. The link will be in the description below where you can purchase the plugin or you can use the free trial version as well. So yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial and get started. So before this tutorial starts, I want to introduce you guys to Create Pack, which is one of the amazing After Effects pack on Video Hive. Over 3600 plus fully responsive animation elements that automatically rescale for your composition, which you can preview and import with just one single click. Dozens of categories with everything you need to create some awesome motion graphics without wasting any time. Download the Create Pack from the link in the description below. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Call this main and make this 1920 by 1080. So I'll go ahead and select a custom preset. Everything looks good, 10 seconds long and hit OK. Then let's create one more composition, which is going to be our logo placeholder where we can drag and drop in any logo. So I'll call this logo here with the same comp size and drag and drop in our logo. Let's bring down the size. So hit S to bring down the scale properties and I'm going to keep it around 30%. This big looks good. Let's go back into our main composition, hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid layer called this particles. 1920 by 1080 looks good, hit OK. Then go into effects and preset and type in particular. There we go. Let's double click to apply that up. Now it's going to basically generate some particles like so. Now we can go ahead and customize the particles the way it looks. So let's go into the particle section. Let's increase the life per second to five and change the particle type from sphere to a sprite. Okay. Now we can go into the texture settings and now we can load in a layer which will act as a particle. So basically we're going to create custom particles for the particle generator. So let's go ahead and create a new composition called this custom particles. Let's bring down the width and height to, let's go with 400 by 400. Okay, hit okay. And then I can actually, you know, just select my text tool and let's type in plus. Let's increase the size a bit, align it into the center. And I'm gonna make this a nice um, darker gray color, like so. Let's hit R to bring down the rotation properties and use this as an X. So I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees. Now this is going to be my custom particle. Let's go back into the main comp, drag in the custom particles like so, and then hide that. We don't need to see it. Also, I will create a, let's actually create a new solid. So hit control Y, which is going to be our background. Hit BG for our background. Hit OK. I'm going to keep the, keep this at the back. Hide this for now. Let's go back into the particle system and let's select the texture layer again. So I'm going to select this as a custom particles. And now if I increase the particle size, so let's increase this by maybe 35. You can see a particles are, are taking the texture from the custom particles. Now it doesn't look the way we want yet. So I'll just turn off the BG so that we can see it more properly. And let's play around with some settings here. So let's go back actually into the emitter. And let's animate this. Let's animate the particles per second. So I'll go to one sec, set the emitter particles per second to 20. Create a keyframe, go one frame forward by hitting page down on the keyboard and set this to zero. So now at one second and one frame is going to stop emitting the particles. So you can see it starts, it starts the emission and then it's going to stop just like so. And that is what I am looking for. Now let's change the direction from uniform to bi-directional because I want the particles to move in a specific direction. Then I, I will increase the velocity. So I'll increase that to around 500. So the particle burst out, you know, 
really crazy as you can see looks pretty cool actually now let's go ahead into the physics section where we can customize the animation of this particle so i'll go at the very beginning and let's change the gravity to minus four and increase the physics time factor to around let's go with maybe two okay create a keyframe on the physics time factor go to one second and set this to five all right and then i'll go into the air section let's increase the spin amplitude all the way up to 100 so we get some nice weird movements not weird but crazy movement as you can see this looks super cool also one more thing that we need to do is right now the particles like this snaps out of the frame i want them to fade out like smoothly so what i can do is i can go into the particle section go into the size over life yep and let's select a preset so i'll click here and select this one so now the particles fades out you know as they become small and that is what i'm looking for i can also play around with the size randomness so right now it's set to zero i can make it all the way up to 100 but i think i'll keep it around maybe 70. and yep that is looking great maybe let's make this 100. okay perfect so now it started to look really really cool so there we are done with this particles now let's go ahead and add some accents of lines you know to add some nice um, look to this so i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate this layer and let's rename this to lines what i'll do is i'll solo that up so we can see it more properly also let's actually turn on the background now let's make sure the line layer is selected and let's bring down the particle size so i'll go into the particle section bring down the particle size to zero and now what we need to do is go into the aux system and make this continuously so now we get this really cool look as you can see if you want you can go with this kind of look which looks pretty cool actually but i'll go into the particle section again and let's change the particle type to sphere we don't need any feather so i'm going to bring that down let's bring up the size a bit maybe one no, that is not going to work because we need to go into the aux system and let's bring down the feather and also increase the size really high. Make sure the color is set to black so we can see it. Let's bring down the size actually to two or maybe let's go 1.5 should work good. All right, that is looking great. Let's actually play around with the particles per second. So I'll increase that to around 500 so we get nice lines, you know like so and then i'll go into the size of our life let's select the same preset or maybe let's go with this one actually so as you can see the strokes are looking pretty cool actually let's turn on the other particles and now you can see we get this very interesting look okay that is looking super cool now let's go ahead and drag and drop in our logo your comp and let's animate that so here we have our logo your comp here we have a logo for the logo color i'll add a fill to this so let's add a fill double click to apply that up and i'll go with the same darker gray color looks good and let's animate this actually so i'll go somewhere around there i think hit s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe go back in time to around let's say at one second bring that down to zero and then i'll go a few frames forward maybe somewhere around there and let's snap that up to 90. so we have a simple movement as you can see but i want to make them a bit snappy so let's increase this to 110. now i'll select the keyframes hit f9 and then go into the graph editor right click and make sure your speed graph edit speed graph is selected and then let's zoom in a bit and i'll move this handle by holding shift to the left just like so and move this one to the right oh so now we should get a snappy animation let's see 
yep that is what i am going for as you can see it looks pretty cool so we don't have some you know simple boring animation we have a little bit of style to it now when it hits like that i want a small burst of particles like uh you know small particles falling up when you hit something on the wall so i want to create those small particles so what we can do is let's select the line layer hit control d to duplicate it let's call this maybe um, small particles all right hit u so we can see the keyframes let's drag it right here and we don't need the physics time factor animation anymore. So I'll get rid of that keyframe. And I'm going to move this two keyframes right over here. Just like so. Also, I'm going to just solo that up so we can see them more properly. So now here we have our lines particles looking really cool. We don't need any aux system here. So I'm going to set that to off. We only need the particles. So I'm going to go into the particle section. Let's increase the size to around two and go into the physics section and increase the gravity to six and the physics time factor i'll keep it around four we don't need any spin amplitude so i'm going to bring that down to zero all right also i want to bring down the velocity a bit so i'll go into the emitter section let's bring down the velocity to 200 and that should work i think so the particles fall off, but they are still too big. So I'll go into the particle section and maybe bring down the size to one. That's a bit too small. So 1.5 should work. Yep, that looks much better. So when the logo hits, the particle fall out just like that. Also give it the same color as the logo. So now as the logo hit, the particles fall out. let's okay that is looking cool actually i think the velocity is uh, still too much it's still too much so i'll bring it to 150 let's see okay that timed in perfectly so as you can see this is looking pretty cool and let's see, let's ramp preview our animation so far. Maybe I'll bring the logo animation a bit forward in time. So I'll select the keyframe. Let's bring them a bit forward. This one as well. So as you can see, there we go. There we have our really interesting and cool looking logo animation using trap code particles. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, I would like to take a minute and introduce you guys to videohive.net. The motion graphic junkies like me are ought to know about videohive, but if you don't know it yet, no worries. I'll make sure you just not know about it, but also get the most out of it. So VideoHive is a part of Envato market which is a huge marketplace for creative assets in which VideoHive specifically provides assets related to motion graphics. At VideoHive, you are exposed to a sheer number of motion graphics sampled for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Cinema 4D, Final Cut Pro that you can also purchase to use in your projects and make them look super professional and attractive as you can. To be specific, you can find titles, openers, lower thirds, elements, infographics, logo strings, overlays, transitions, slideshows, and much more. So make sure to check out davidhive.net. The link will be in the description below. You can also do, what you can also do is add some text. So, you know, I can add some text like design studio. Let's make it a bit small. Align it into the center and there we go. Let's animate the text as well. So when it hits up right here, I'll select text, hit P to bring down the position, create a keyframe, hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe, hit U so we can see both the keyframes. 
go back and let's set the opacity down to zero and pull this down just like so. Select the keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's actually move this one to the right. So we get a very nice animation. Let's actually time this perfectly with the logo as well. So I'll select this actually again and move this one to the right. Yep, that fits in perfectly. Let's preview our complete animation. Yep, I think that is looking perfect. So there you go, there you have your cool and professional looking logo animation using some very simple techniques and using trap code particular. So yep, that is a wrap for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, then please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below if you have any suggestions for the next tutorial, if you have any ideas and you know what not. Let's make it fun. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I post some amazing micro blogs which I think will be very helpful for people who are just getting started with freelancing or motion graphics or graphic design and stuff like that. So make sure to check out some really interesting and educational micro blogs on my Instagram profile. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative.